Yeah, I think this year's Europe's is really exciting, to be honest. We've got a really good lineup of athletes, lots of different countries represented, a few new athletes as well, and a completely different set of events than we're used to seeing in this competition. I am very excited to see it. I think I'm really looking forward to the deadlift uh, ladder. Obviously, we see a lot of deadlifts in strongman competitions. I like this variation. I think it brings a few different elements to it. It's not just about who can lift the most. It's about being quick between lifts. So speed is going to become important. Tactics are going to come into play. Some guys will think they can just get through them all um, nice and steadily. Other guys will be looking to do a few as quickly as possible. And with each one being timed, speed is going to be a big, big important factor. We're opening up with the Log Lift World Championships and we've got Ian Bibby, Luke Stoltman, uh, Bobby Thompson as well from the USA. Three absolute monster log pressers. Uh, I think Luke is going to be the clear favourite when it comes to the strongman competition on the on the log. Um, but you know, then we've got the power stairs, we've got the um, anchor and chain drag, and the stones. It's a really good mixture of events. I've changed my mind about ten times on who I think is going to win this one, uh, and I, I I always go to back to events. I look at the events, I look at athletes' previous performances in these type of events. And I think the top three for me is going to come down to Luke Stoltman, defending champion, Alexei Novikov, and Konstantin Janasha. And I think looking at the events this, this week, I think Konstantin can do this. There's no weak event for him. He's an amazing deadlifter. I think take Luke out of the log lift. He's probably the best log lifter left in the competition. He's really good at power stairs. He's a great stone lifter and he moves well. So I think the anchor and chain drag are going to be good for him. I can see him placing really high on every event. I think for Luke, the issue could be the deadlift. Um, we know how amazing his log lifting is, how good he is at all the events. Just his deadlift is sometimes a, a little bit of a factor. And with guys like Ron or Hainler in the competition, who's a great deadlifter, a couple of other guys, Shane Flowers, really good up and coming British guy, they may cause Luke a few issues. But I think that's going to be the top three. I think beyond that, it could be absolutely anyone. It's going to be a really exciting competition and I cannot wait to watch it. Yeah, I think the top three for the log is easy. I think Bobby Thompson, Luke, and Ian Bibby are way ahead of the rest of the field when it comes to log lifting. Um, I think Bobby Thompson realistically has a great shot at the American record, which would be 218 kilos. I, if you asked me a few weeks ago, I wasn't sure if we're going to see a world record. I've changed my mind. I think we may see a world record tomorrow on the log. I think having Ian Bibby and Luke Stoltman go head to head in a competition, obviously last year, there was issues getting Iron Bibby over. We had COVID the year before. So this is the first time we've seen two of the absolute best log lifters on the planet in the same competition. And I saw Iron Bibby earlier. He is absolutely humongous. His traps, his shoulders, he just looks like a complete beast. He's been quiet in terms of posting on social media, but I spoke to him and he, he looks very confident. He wants to, I think last year when he got the record, there was a lot of questions about whether it was completely locked out. Um, he wants to put that straight. He wants to make sure 230 goes up, holds it, locked out nicely. As he said, he's not even going to wear any elbow sleeves to do it. He wants to show everyone that he's got the power to, to hold this record. And I think for Luke, he's been so close a few times. I think if he's got a chance, it's going to be tomorrow. He, he's, he's looked really good. The last three competitions where he's had a log in a full competition, he's won every single time, I think, in front of the European crowd. He could do something special. So I think it's going to be a, a really epic log lift battle. For me, those two are the two that have a crack at the world record. Ian Bibby is, a f for want of a better word, he's a freak of nature. You know, I've met hundreds and hundreds of ridiculously strong men, and I've never met a man like Ian Bibby before. His, his shoulder power is just scary. I don't think he's particularly got the best technique in the world when it comes to overhead lifting. But when it comes to absolute raw power, I've never met anyone even come close to his strength levels. Now, we could make a log wider for him, but it would be such a disadvantage to every other lifter that is that a fair thing to do? I mean, it would be interesting to see if the wider log would help him. I'm sure it would because he's such a broad man. You know, you can see when he presses the axle, he has such a wide grip, whereas the log is kind of fixed to a certain position. It probably is harder for him to get fully locked out with, with the, the log, with the handles set where they are. He probably could do with them three to six inches wider each side. But like I said, you're then changing it for everyone else. And some of the guys wouldn't even be able to get that over their head. So 
it's it's a hard one. I think I think where the handles are, he can still press this log. You know, he, I guess on his point of view, he has to make sure he's working on mobility, making sure he can work through the range of motion that he needs to for, for competition. And he's proven that he can do it already. He just needs to make sure it's locked out, wait for the referee's down signal. And I think we're gonna see 2.30 go, whether it's Ian Bibby, whether it's Luke, someone's gonna get it tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned Luke on the deadlift. I think that he's not a bad deadlifter by any means, but when it comes to absolute elite level, he's maybe just a little bit off the, you know, off the step with, with some of the other guys. And we do have some good deadlifters in this show. When we look at Rauner Hainler, Shane Flowers, even guys like Paro Dwyer, um, Gav Bilton, they're all, they're all athletes that have beaten Luke on the deadlift in the past. And I, I think maybe, I mean, he's gonna have the advantage of if he wins the log in the strongman comp, he'll get to go last on the deadlift. So we may be able to see if a, a quick three or something like that will score him better points. So that could be an advantage, but there's a lot of guys that could potentially beat him on this event. Um, Novikov is the hard one to predict. Novikov's such a consistent performer. Obviously, he has a lot going on in his mind right now. Is he going to be distracted from his training? Um, I was very impressed with him at the Arnolds a few weeks back. He's such a battler. I wouldn't be surprised if he came in and won this comp, but I also wouldn't be surprised if we're not seeing the best Novikov. So, hard to predict with someone like that. I think Janash has had a good amount of rest, and, and like I said, I don't see a particular weakness for him. I think everyone else in the competition, they're just not quite as strong all round as those three. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Gav back. Obviously, he's had a few health issues. He looks so much better. I saw him downstairs earlier and just physically looked fitter, looked better in his face. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he does. I think it's a hard one to predict first competition back. Um, in the past, Gav's fitness has been an issue. And looking at the, the way this competition is going to be lined up, knowing how quick uh, the pace is of a Giants live show, I think that could be an issue for Gav. Parr has been exceptionally impressive, did amazing at Britain's Strongest Man. He has picked up a shoulder injury in the last couple of weeks, so that may affect him, but I think we'll see a good solid performance from Parr. And I think the Brit to watch is Shane Flowers. He's looking, you know, he really impressed me at Britain's Strongest Man, and I think these are even better events for him. So I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people. Yeah, I've seen Pavlo compete at OSG last year and he's a really good all-round athlete. Again, I think, I think he could do very well. I think there's a, you know, Pavlo, I think Marius Lalas, who we've seen before, um, Paro Dwyer, you know, they could all be fighting for that fifth place. Um, Rauner Hainler, I think he's, you know, he, we've seen great performances from him. He was fourth at Europe's last year. I think he's going to be in that top five. Um, who else we've got? Um, Athor Melstert, uh, he's a great athlete from Iceland. He's coming back from an injury. I'm not sure if he's in his best shape right now, uh, but he is a great strong man, made the final of World's Strongest Man last year. So there's just no weak guys at all. It's, it's a really, I mean, I've picked my top three, but it's such a hard, you know, open competition. Just makes, takes one mistake, one great performance. You know, you're talking to a guy that beat the mountain in 2016 when no one thought I had, I had a chance. So it's always fun predicting these things, but until it all rolls out and happens, we just don't know. And every single one of the athletes, um, got Kelvin De Reuter from, from Holland. Uh, he's been very, very impressive in the Champions League. Very good at events, maybe lacks the, the brute power on things like the log and deadlift to, to really challenge for this title. But so many great athletes. I think it's great that we have new faces competing in the Giants live and new stars to be made. It's going to be an amazing show.